Pregnancy is a time of tremendous anxiety and fear in general. There's so much that's unknown. There's so much that's unknown about motherhood in general. So there's a constant daily fear that you're gonna do something that's gonna harm your baby. The conversation that I have with women is, there are things that we know for sure. We know that pregnancy is a period of weakened immune state. We know that women are more susceptible to COVID when they're pregnant. They're more susceptible to severe disease. And the thing that we know emphatically is that COVID itself is significantly dangerous to your fetus and to your pregnancy and can lead to preterm deliveries and pregnancy loss and maternal death. And we have not seen that from the vaccine. The first people who were exposed to the COVID vaccine were healthcare providers who have seen COVID on the front lines and know how bad it can be. There were a tremendous number of pregnant women who were vaccinated. So the CDC's uh, vaccine advisory board just released the first set of data of pregnant women who have received the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccine and showed no increased risk of fetal malformations, preterm deliveries, abruptions, IUFDs, miscarriages, anything. The vaccinations that we worry about in women who are conceiving and women who are pregnant are live virus vaccines. There's nothing live that's in any of the three vaccine candidates that have been currently approved. So there's no biologically plausible mechanism by which they could cause infertility. mRNA vaccines carry a piece of this spike protein that's part of COVID that tells your body how to make antibodies against that, how to make things that will fight that. It's not gonna alter your DNA. It gets destroyed within minutes in the body after it sort of takes a snapshot of what that spike protein looks like. So it's not gonna alter your DNA. Most vaccinations actually don't pass a tremendous amount of antibody through breast milk to the baby. And if a vaccination does pass antibody through breast milk to the baby, that's what we want. We want these babies to develop immunity to COVID. That's the hope with this vaccination that we're giving now is that it will work like other vaccinations we've used in the past, which allow us to essentially auto vaccinate the baby by vaccinating the mom. That's data that we're currently obtaining from healthcare providers that have been vaccinated for the last several months. And we're optimistic that that's what it's gonna show. We know that the way these vaccinations were created, we don't believe that there's any biologically plausible way they could be detrimental to pregnant women or to the fetus that they're carrying or to lactating women to their baby. So we are strongly advocating and all national organizations for obstetrics are strongly advocating that all women attempting to conceive currently pregnant and breastfeeding get the COVID vaccination.